Fan Week Grana Weeping Mini Bong and welcome back to my channel where we talk about all things Transformers and Transformers action figure related and today on my channel we're going to be taking a look at issue 2 of the magic of Cybertron this is Transformers Cross My Little Ponies yes the ponies are back we looked at these in 2020 and in 2021 they're back again and this is now the second issue so quick catch up in issue one we saw Sombra come over from Questria uh, and then take over the minds of certain Transformers, certain Decepticons and certain ponies. So in this, the Autobots, the Decepticons and the ponies all have to work together to defeat the evil Sombra who has taken over the minds of many a con and many a bot. So you can see here almost like the ultimate team up here that's just a little bit uh, crazy. So everybody teams up together to fight this new menace that's attacking Cybertron. And this is where we pick up everything for issue number two. So issue number two, absolutely awesome artwork here. Uh, gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Really like the way that they've styled this. Uh, Starscream looking like a Reap Brony here with all of the ponies kind of flying around with him. Very nice, very, very cool. Uh, at the back, um, we actually get to see a few adverts here. So we see an advert for Star Wars Adventures. Uh, Sonic is getting his own IDW comic. So this is an advert for that. Uh, then we also get magic, mag the magic of friendship. Well, friendship is magic, so the ponies have their own little comic as well with IDW then we get to the other covers that we could have had with this and this is definitely the cover that I wanted but couldn't find anywhere absolutely awesome this is my favorite comic Starscream being a bit of a brony there playing with his ponies with Megatron looming over the background there very very cool very very nice uh, then we get uh, the a bit of like a line drawing here a little bit more stylized the way that this one is drawn and then we get the one that I got which is just the classic cover here as well so this one kicks off uh, the ponies that are involved in these stories Rainbow Dash the Wonderbolts and then we also get Applejack because in this one the same with most of these there are two different uh, stories going on within this so we get stunt flying and we also get one trick pony and then the autobots or the, the the cons that are used in this mainly are the seekers and we also see wild wheel former autobot who's a current decepticon so this story opens up with the con seekers and the Wonderbolts flying through the skies of Cybertron, which is pretty cool. You see them together. Uh, Starscream still wondering why he has to work with these ponies at all. And then they are attacked by the kind of mind controlled bots and cons that are underneath them. When they are attacked, Starscream just gives the order to basically just wipe out everybody who's currently attacking them uh the other seekers ask questions like uh there's actually decepticons among them shouldn't we think about those and starscream of course is just like did i stutter blast them the ponies then remind the seekers that they're actually supposed to be just uh, kind of taking them out and incapacitating them and not actually killing them uh of course the ponies then say, right, we've got this other idea, so we're going to try and do something so we can incapacitate these people instead of actually killing them. So they sit on the wings of Skywarp here, and they actually ask Skywarp, what's your name? And Skywarp tells them what his name is. Uh, then they come up with this kind of action plan to conjure up like a whirlwind type effect so 
This whirlwind then gets thingy, and this this kind of reminds me of head on. This reminds me of something from uh, Headmasters here from the Japanese anime, which is kind of cool. I don't know if I don't know much about ponies, so if the ponies do this, usually okay, cool. If not, it's this a uh, a bit of a a bit of a callback to the Japanese anime when they were doing that circle of friendship type stuff. Uh, but the ponies conjure up a weather storm uh, to kind of distract all of the bots uh, when it goes boom they have a rain boom and now the seekers will get to actually fire at will during this section poor old will he's always getting fired on we do get to see a pretty cool looking motor master here a pretty cool looking hound and jazz and some ponies that i'm sorry i do not know their names and uh, they then fire the the energon net i guess over the sides of everything and the, we get to see the ironhide swindle and jazz here and i think that's uh, and i think that's brawl in the background there as well that we can see so that's pretty cool so it shows that the combaticons have actually been taken over as well would have been nice to have seen a combined bruticus taken over as well that would have been pretty awesome pretty damn cool uh you see them all then tied up in the net and they then say that this was pretty terrifying for the ponies the Decepticon Seekers start to think and muse about whether or not they should actually just take all of the Autobots out and take this opportunity to take out the Autobots while they're incapacitated. Uh, Starscream muses over one day being the ruler and saying that when they kick out Sombra then everybody will kneel at the feet of Starscream, which of course is always what he wants, again, with his lovely looking crown absolutely fantastic and then as he is musing about how victorious he is and how good he is he can actually see the other seekers are pretty much thanking the rest of the ponies for their help instead of praising Starscream for his leadership so he's in shock and awe about the situation and not too happy whatsoever moving on to the second story in this and the second story is called one trick pony and we see that applejack has been transported to the rust plains of cybertron and she doesn't really know where she is uh the uh, i like the way that they've done the kind of tumbleweed as different usb connectors and just different plugs and sockets and things that's that's pretty cool that is that is pretty pretty funny and applejack remarks that it's a pretty weird place of course and um, as she goes to somehow she knows that this is a rust storm which is quite impressive considering she's never been there before so that's pretty good and she sees a dark and shadowy figure on the horizon the dark and shadowy figure is revealed to be wild wheel so we see wild wheel there who introduces himself as wild wheel and says that this area is actually under his protection and that basically she should leave applejack says no i'm trying to find my way home and he says down basically we got a problem and they're gonna have to duke it out at this point and um, so then applejack reaches for well her rope and so does wild wheel as well reach for his rope as well and they stare at each other there's the big stare out there's the crack of the whip and who's the first person to get to the draw of course it's wild wheel so applejack thinks it's all over and is shocked to find out no no i'm still in one piece he didn't hurt me so 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 what happened what happened was skids was behind who has been taken over by sombra and the whole time wild wheel was going to attack skids who was stood behind the pony so they decide that actually they might be better off uniting their efforts because wild wheel says he is sick of all of these mindless freaks uh coming into his area they shake on it and together they walk off into the sunset hand in hand 
It's a little bit like the Mandalorian. A little bit, a little bit like the Mandalorian, maybe. Kind of remembers, reminds me of a little bit of the uh, the Mandalorian type thing here with the Mandalorian, and this would have been our own little Grogu here. Very, very cool. Nice. Then finally, we get to look at the issues, the cover for the next issues. Pretty cool looking sound wave there with the ponies playing all the tunes on him. Um, and then we, we just get back to the other covers. So that is everything from this issue. Um, I have to say, I'm actually enjoying this one a lot more than the first issue. Mainly because, and this was my biggest criticism of the original one, is that they actually are focusing in on some kind of story which is super absolutely fantastic exactly what they should be doing on this very very cool well done to all of them uh, this is exactly the kind of thing that i would like to see from this so i am enjoying this even more than the last one because the last one i didn't enjoy so much let me know your thoughts on this down in the comments have you picked this one do you like this one more than the first one i certainly do and i will see you in my next video all right guys in a bit peace